Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a whole face of Morphe products because they have um, a skin line as well, so like foundation, concealer. I've never actually tried any of their products, so today's going to be my first time trying out their foundation, their concealer, powder, setting spray, everything. So this is going to be like an initial reaction sort of thing as well, so let's see. So when it comes to my skin, I've already prepped my skin as you guys can see, my skin is glowing. So the first product I'm going to be trying out is their Bacon Set Setting Powder and I got this in the shade Banana. So this was £12 which isn't bad. I'm not going to lie, I felt this powder already and it feels really like really silky and really smooth. So I'm going to use this to obviously set my skin before I apply my foundation. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and just press this into my skin. So the next product I'll be trying out is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation and this is what that looks like. So it comes in a black box, all their products comes in a black box, in a black um, packaging and I think their packaging is just so sleek and just so like professional, like, I really like it. So I got this in the shade 4.80 as you guys can see. So this is a mattifying foundation, it says it's 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance and parabens, I don't know what that means, great for all skin types. So I'm guessing if you have oily skin dry skin then i guess it's good for you but um it says it's it's a matte foundation so i don't know how that would work if you have dry skin but it says it's great for all skin types but i have oily skin anyway so i mean lately my skin has been combination skin is what i'll say i have like i get really oily around my cheeks my t-zone and then around the perimeter of my face is kind of like normal so so i'm going to be using the shade 4.80 and this is the morphe fluidity full coverage foundation and um, when I was trying out the shades, I didn't know what shade to get by the way. The shade after this one I think was too red for me. So I got this one because it's more of like a neutral with like golden undertones. So let's see how that looks all over my skin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, um, I swatched this on my hand when I was in the store and it looked like my perfect shade but right now this looks like, okay, this looks like, this is not even like, oh yeah, work with it sort of like, this is like, no, it's not happening, sort of like, this is really like, but hold on, let me blend it in. <laughs> One thing I can definitely say is that it is matte and it is full coverage for sure because i applied a small amount and that's basically cover up it's covered up half of my face already so but now that i've blended it out yeah it looks fine so i feel like once you blend it out it looks okay but why was it so light why was it so light that's what it looks like on the back of my hand and when i tried it it was like my perfect match but me trying it on my skin now is just kind of like bems like this is a bit too light for you don't you think Okay, so I'm done applying the foundation and guys, I'll definitely say that this foundation is very full coverage and it's definitely mattifying as well. So if, you, if you're a girl that likes that full coverage, full beat sort of look, then this foundation is definitely for you. And when it comes to the shade, I would say that this definitely matches my skin tone perfectly. Like, look at my chest and look at my face. Like, this really matches my face and matches my skin perfectly. But um, obviously when I first um, applied it on my face, it was a bit too light, so I was kind of scared. But... Once I blended it out, the foundation is so nice, like it's really full coverage and it's really like, it just looks good on your skin. So so the next product I'll be trying out is the Morphe Fluidity Concealer. So it's also a full coverage concealer and I got this in the shade 435. The only thing is I feel like, I don't think this is going to be bright enough for me to highlight with. Because you guys know I like my under eye quite bright. But um, the concealers they had was either too orange or too dark or just too red. It just wasn't working. So, so I'm just going to apply this to the parts of my face where I would normally highlight anyway. I can tell the concealer is definitely full coverage just because of how thick it is. So I'm going to blend the rest of my my face and then come back to my eyes guys the coverage is mad i'm not gonna lie to you the coverage is mad okay and i think this is the perfect shade actually so even though i felt like it wasn't going to be bright enough i like this undertone i like how it's looking the coverage is actually everything I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Guys, the coverage of the concealer and foundation is amazing, okay? And it, like, it just gives you that flawless look as well, which I really, really like. 
so it's just amazing so now i'm just gonna set my um set my face with the setting powder in, in banana okay so when it comes to the setting powder it says the setting powder bakes and sets makeup for a shine free finish oil absorbing formula selfie approved so i'm definitely gonna be taking a selfie and see how that turns out so i'm gonna set my face with the morphe filter effect finishing powder guys just look at the packaging this is so nice and i got this in the shade um filter 13 so i got this in the shade 13 basically it says the powder is buildable, sheer to medium coverage, creamy, lightweight formula, um, shine free and oil absorbing as well, selfie approved. So I won't lie guys, if you go into the store, yeah, when it comes to the powders, it is like really hard to find your shade because if it's not too orange, then it's too red or it's too dark. So let's see how this looks on my skin. So when you open it, this is how it is. So you have the powder, you have comes with a mirror and then it comes with a pad to apply it but um i'm gonna try this see how it turns out if i don't like it i'm just gonna switch to my brush so let's see i'm gonna use the powder to like blend out the setting powder foundation was 16 pounds which isn't bad if you're getting this full cover if you're getting this coverage 16 pounds is not bad normally when you get like high-end um, foundations like huda or um lancome or like um what other found or nars you're spending at least 30 pounds so for 16 pounds this is really good so the foundation 16 pounds the setting powder is 12 pounds the face powder face powder was also 12 pounds as well which is really good so it seems like all their powders are 12 pounds because i'm just about to contour my face now and that powder is also 12 pounds so now to um, contour my face i'm going to be using the bronzer powder so i'm guessing this is like a bronzer and a contour powder at the same time so um this is the bronzer powder and it's in the shade i got this in the shade showmance so this is what the powder looks like i'm loving how flawless my face is looking already like this looks so nice and i think this is a really nice shade to contour with for me anyway because it has like the right amount of red this is just perfect because normally when i buy um when i buy contour powders they normally have like a gray undertone which creates shadow then i have to go in with like a powder that has like a red undertone for me to just get some warmth back to my face so now i'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera and i'll be back in a minute so stay tuned so the next product that i got is the morphe 3502 um second nature eyeshadow palette so um i'm gonna be trying this out so this is my first morphe palette by the way so i'm a bit excited i'm gonna see this is so up my street and you guys know it as well like i love neutral colors like just look at this the only thing is i wish they wrote the names on the palette rather than this because i'm not gonna keep this i'm gonna throw it away so it's just a bit annoying so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here and use that as my transition shade I'm going to go into this shade right here and I'm going to mix these two shades together. I haven't done a brown smoky in a while so I think I'm actually going to apply those two shades all over my lid. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I used for my transition and just blend around that brown. So I'm going to apply my eyeliner. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to apply eyeliner, but I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my lashes on now and these ones are quite like a bit more on the natural side, which I like, but they're also like dramatic at the same time. So they're really thin um, and then it gets fuller as you go like outwards sort of thing if you guys have been wondering about my lashes um they're my new collection coming out soon so so now i've applied my lashes and i've also applied um eyeliner on my waterline so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the same two shades that i applied all over my lid i'm going to apply that on my lower lash line just to smoke it out and everything looks you know Okay, so what, one thing I can say about the eyeshadow palette is that the eyeshadows blend so well, but you do definitely get um, fallouts, as you guys can see, under my um, eyes. So which is why I would recommend you have like some sort of powder under your eyes so you can just wipe it off once you're done with your makeup. Listen, I'm so impressed with like all the products that i've tried today the setting powder literally just melts into your skin the foundation the concealer so like really full coverage and mattifying and then obviously the contour powder that i used today i love it 
I just love it. So the next product I'll be trying out today is their setting spray. And guys, I've literally been saying this everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, I've been saying it everywhere. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Continual Setting Mist and I'm just going to use this to set my face. I'm now going to take my Beauty Blender and just pat that into my skin. The only thing I will say about this setting spray is that it's definitely, it comes out like a mist because it's not like a normal setting spray where you actually feel like the setting spray on your face. This one literally just feels like air but it's doing something. You can feel something on your skin but it's very light. Okay, so I know this is meant to be like a video of me using all Morphe products but guys, I can't help it. I picked up this... Um, chrome eyeshadow from kiko and it's so pretty so like i was even thinking to just use um one of the shimmy shades from the palette but this is so nice i want to use it in my um tear ducts and see how it looks can you guys see how like it just changes like there's different tones in this it's so pretty so i'm gonna use this in my um tear ducts i might even use this to highlight my face as well and see how that turns out So now what I do to blend this out, I'm not going to go with my face like this. I just take my powder brush and I literally just blend that in. So now I'm going to go in with the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Trendsetter. And guys, it's just a really dark brown. Oh, this feels really creamy as well. It's literally just gliding on my lips. So once that's done, I'm going to go in with the Morphe lip gloss and this is in the shade Chill. So it's like a really um, bright nude lip gloss. Okay, I was expecting this to be a lot more pigmented than this, but it's not. So let's see, hold on. This is a lip gloss that I would use as a top up, but not as like on its own. I already have one lip gloss from them that I really like and it's called um, Boho. That one's quite nice. Um, I was expecting this to be a lot more pigmented. I'm so disappointed, I don't know why. I just wish it was more pigmented than this. Yeah, I need to add a bit more pigment to my lips. So I'm gonna um, apply a nude lipstick and then apply this lip gloss on top of it again. So you guys can see now I've applied the nude lipstick and it looks a lot better because your lips, my lips are standing out more. So I'm just gonna um, go back in with the lip gloss again. You can just use any nude lipstick you have. So I'm gonna go fix my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, so guys, my makeup is done. I've got my hair on now as well. So this is the um <laughs> this is the finished look and guys can I just say I love how my face is looking. I love all the products that I've used today. So the foundation is very mattifying and it feels so light on your face. Like even though both the foundation and concealer are like very full coverage um products, it feels very light on my skin. It doesn't feel like my um I'm wearing so much products on my face. My face doesn't feel cakey and um I'm happy with the um shade of foundation that I went for as well because I was actually scared thinking it was gonna be too light for me. But this is like my perfect like match because it literally my face matches my chest which is like amazing that never happens so yeah and obviously if you guys are wondering where my jumper is from this is from this is from zara and it says skip to friday which i think is so cool so yeah um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful i hope you liked it give this video a thumbs up if you liked the video don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you think and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye